We've been given many names. Ghost runners. Human-like killing machines. Guardians. Monsters. An extinct breed. That last one, while true for most, for us, naive. That kind of strength, that will to overcome every obstacle, that undying thirst to defy those who enslave us, that resentment, ironic disobedience. It kept us alive. Hidden. Rejected. Forsaken. And now, with all the masters gone, The time has come to free ourselves at last. To remind everyone of what we once were. Dharma will finally pay the price it deserves. And there will be no one left to protect it. It's time to wake up. The attack started about 20 minutes ago. The reactor team managed to contact us before they went down, but there's no way our reinforcements can beat the hammers to the central chamber. Except for you. Report once you're in position. Position. Hi, Jackie. Let's get rolling. The hammers have a hell of a head start. No time to do it the usual way. I'll be your handler on this one. That's not necessary. Sure it is, Jackie. I've always wanted to work more closely with you. Don't take it away from me. Ah, oh, it's getting tricky. But you should be fine if you use your, uh, air dash booster thingy. I know. Wonder if you've 
cut any of them before. I wouldn't know.
Because of politics. There's nobody can come close to it without all the other factions getting all pushy. This mess is exactly why we need the Interface Council to work out. If all the gangs and factions don't learn to play nice soon, Dharma will just fall apart right in front of our eyes. Now! A number? Let me put it down, Master. Will Bushido allow it? It will now. We'll meet by the gate. May we be free!
Master. It's over. Forgive not this one's weakness, for he is not worthy. But through the sacrifice, carry on the vengeance of the Ashura. May we be free! Threat neutralized? He's dead. Good. Glad I could help. My name is Adrian Bakunin. Throw down your weapons and surrender. Heard that one before. In the name of the Interface Council, you're under arrest. Let's go. Understood. Now you show up. We're here, ain't we? Connor wants to see you. Sure he does. Jack, good job out there. Glad you're in one piece. Yeah, thanks. Connor wants to see me? Uh-huh. But please talk to Zoe first. She was worried sick about you. I will. And yeah, this guy you brought in? He says he's got some information. Might be worth checking out. Oh, and drop by later. You've missed your appointment. Sure. See you in a bit. Later. I'm back. Sorry, I couldn't be on the comms. Connor had me hacking the reactor subsystems. Plan B, you know? Plan A was a Hail Mary. God, this is a mess. We don't know where these Ashura came from, where they are, or what they want. We know we need to stop them. Yeah, I suppose that's enough for now. How are you holding up? That's what I should be asking you. I mean, it's kind of a miracle you're alive. Bakunin had my back. I'm not talking about today. I'm talking about last year. About you deleting your own system and technically dying? That was... unpleasant. And then, waking up like nothing happened. Wish it was that simple. I mean, sure, relearning how to walk and talk was no easy feat, but all in all, you surviving the Cybervoid shutdown was like a regular human walking away from an explosion. Still have no idea how you did it. Guess I'm just tough. What do you think about the Ashura? They scare me. The way they look, the way they act. While repairing you, we spent a lot of time trying to gather all possible info on GRs. It doesn't make sense that they are ghost runners. Nothing fits. And yet, there's no doubt about it. Could they have been in hiding all this time? Yeah, in theory. But why? And how? The tower's not that big. Oh, and before you go, we've managed to get a hold of one of the original GR augmentation units. Haven't seen them in... a while. Yeah, pretty vintage stuff at this point. Come on, give it a shot. I will, thanks. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Wish we could get them all, but... They weren't even all there. Right. Well, one down, three to go. What do you know about these Ashura? They're ghost runners. That's reason enough to be extremely cautious. 
You single-handedly took down the Keymaster who's been in power for 20 years. Imagine what they can do if they work together. Why were you even there? I'd been tracking Aramon for weeks. He showed up out of nowhere, took control of the hammers, and then used their resources to conduct a large-scale search for... something. Mitra's body. Most likely. Anyway, I knew he was going to make a move on the reactor, but I didn't know why. So I came to try and stop him if he pulled anything really dangerous. By yourself? I don't have many friends nowadays. Besides, I had a feeling you might show up. Can you help me against them? I believe I can. In the field, if need be, and definitely when it comes to intel. As soon as your friends decide to let me go, I'll get back to gathering data on these GRs. We'll update you directly. I got a feeling this is only the beginning of Dharma's trouble. Right. Did you hear the news? Look who finally decided to show up. A little busy here. Go bother someone else in the meantime, and we'll talk in a few minutes. I missed our appointment today. Yeah, don't worry, Jack. I was just gonna tell you you finished all the tests. And? And you're fit as a fiddle. A heavily augmented transhuman fiddle, but still, the meaty parts of you are in great shape. Good to know. Do you remember these GRs from before the coup? Not a chance, Jack. You gotta understand, there was not a lot of overlap between the Architect's official business and us lowly base dwellers. Sure, I've lived through the Ghost Runner's introduction and downfall, but the closest I ever came to meeting one was when they were arresting someone in my district. Before I had my hand in putting you back together, that is. It wasn't until my 60s that I started doing the exciting stuff. Better late than never, I guess. Was Connor always like this? Ever since I've known him, but I don't think always. Man's got demons, more than most. What demons? All I know is what he's blurted out while blackout drunk. There's a lot of blood in his past, and a lot of backstabbing. Done to him or by him? Both, presumably. Look, I get why you don't like him. I do. But? No buts. I just get it. Hey, one last thing. I have something for you. A gift? Sure, why not? It's a shuriken throwing system that I extracted out of our dead fella right here. Thought it might come in handy. Nice. Thank you. Ah, no need for that. Just use it carefully. Preferably not in this room. I'll try. have questions. Who doesn't, eh? What did you want to talk about? We have a church problem, and you've been randomly chosen to become a solution. Don't we have a bigger problem right now? What? Those schmucks from the reactor? Well, you already took down one of them, which concluded in them leaving and us securing the place once again. So I don't see that as a bigger problem. Anyway, let me know when you're ready. You going to release Bakunin? Sure, we have a deal. He could fuck right off for all I care. Why even arrest him? Did he skip the Keymaster Guard commander part when he introduced himself to you? Your new BFF is a war criminal, and a public enemy. But since the public has other crap to deal with right now, I won't insist on wasting a bullet on that chump. Tell me about this... church. Church of the Architect. Yeah, they've been around for years, but lately they went through a drastic makeover. It's no longer five guys in robes jerking off to a poster of the Architect. They're now organized, 
well armed and coordinated. Like the hammers. Yeah. Either their management also got an outside hire, or... Or the Architect really is back. Ah, now you've jinxed it. I'm ready for the church mission. About time. Leave the HQ and head towards the lower floors. Zoe will send you the details. Is that all? For now. Dismissed. That's why we need the tower to unite. Under whose leadership? Under an independent council of representatives. Run by you. If you want to be the mayor, be my guest, Jackie. Just uh, bear in mind that in politics, you're not normally allowed to kill your opponents.
believe you had the architect guiding you back then. Why didn't you tell me? I had a lot on my mind. Yes, waking up from a 20-year coma has got to be confusing. Pretty much, yeah.
no point trying to breach that terminal. It's operating on a completely different level. Should I go back? What do you think? Unless you're planning to smash your head through the gate, we can't really do anything to open it. Report to HQ. We need to discuss this.
What's your take on the church now? They got Cybervoid back up. This is huge. I mean, we don't know when they did that, but it might explain how you were able to come back after disabling the original network. You might have interfaced with their grid by default. Wouldn't they just cut me off? It might be impossible. Ghost Runners were designed with Cybervoid integration in mind. Or they might have chosen not to cut you off. They've got plans for me? If Architect is back? He's bound to have a plan for you. I'm worried, Jack. I'll be fine. If he's back, I'll just delete him again. How's the Interface Council project? Oh, give me a break. The idea is to create an actual government to unite the tower. But for now, it's mostly just us climbers flexing way beyond our actual capabilities. Until at least one of the big players decides to join us, it's gonna remain a gimmick. Connor's pet project. But hey, the Interface Council has the only Ghost Runner and Dharma on its side. That ought to count for something. Not the only one anymore. Well then, I'm out of ideas on how to sell it. You think he's got a face under there? Dude, that is his face. What? No way. Totally. The whole thingies, the glowing thingies, are the eyes. So he's got three eyes. Yeah, makes for better depth perception. This actually makes sense. How's the search for the Ashura? Slow and steady. My guy found a guy who knows a guy who once saw a ghost runner in a back alley behind a bar. He was shit-faced, though, and he claims it could have been you. Do you frequent back alleys behind base instinct? What do you think? Hey, I'm not judging. I mean, I do frequent. <laughs> Pretty frequently, too. <sighs> Just let me know when you have something. Sure thing, Chief. How are the climbers? Just peachy. I mean, we've got a major power shortage, an open war with the hammers, a humongous water debt to the Icemen, and somebody shit all over the men's room. Again. But let me worry about these things. You, you just stick to what you're good at, huh? You do the stabbing, I'll do the thinking. Any updates? Yeah, but not about the Ashura. Your failed church infiltration. What about it? I think I know someone who will be able to help you break through. I thought you were focused on the Ghost Runners. I was. It just so happens that the same person is our best bet of digging up intel on them. Who is it? An old... colleague. Do you know where to find this colleague? Got a general idea? I'm going to need you to scout out a particularly nasty part of Dharma City. Talk to me when you're ready to make the trip. Who are you exactly? A soldier. A failed mutineer. A former key. I've got a feeling the last one outweighs the others around here. I don't care about your past. Glad to hear it, but I'm afraid you're in the minority on this. I'm ready to make the trip. Great. I'll send you the intel once you're on your way. Sounds good. Talk to you soon. Stay sharp. This is the bad part of Dharma City. I don't like sending you on what might be a wild goose chase, but if she's in there, she will be able to help us. Will she want to? If she's bored enough.
It's locked off. So it is. There should be three terminals somewhere nearby. Find them and you'll be able to unlock the safe house. Got it. Quite pretty for the bad part of Dharma. One doesn't exclude the other. I mean, why would the gang sit in the ugly parts? To match their souls. <laughs> Poetic. are there a couple they're scattered throughout the city but that's the only one big enough for kira's equipment did you ever use them i lived in one for a year hiding from you
What the hell do you want with me? Uh... Well, whoever you are, have fun face checking my firewalls. <clears throat> I did, the tower had already been dying for years. I thought we could stop that. Turns out I was wrong. Mara, she was the lesser evil, you know? At least back then. She nearly doomed everyone. It was neither the Keymaster nor the Architect who doomed the tower. This whole project had failure built in from the start. How so? Limited space, limited resources, small population, no real plans or means to reclaim the outside. This building was never an arc. It's a fancy too.
aggressive. They're trying not to look weak after Aramon's death. Didn't notice. The last TV terminal. Runner. Knew it! You here to arrest me? No. You here to kill me? Sorry, ain't happening. Damn! I'm here to ask for your help. Why didn't you just say so? I'm all about helping people. Bakunin says you know about the Cyber Void. Adrian's alive? What a crazy day! Pack up. I need you to come with me. 
You heard the man, Kevin. We're going on an adventure. Your friend wasn't easy to find. I know. I do believe she's worth it, though. She knows more about the GR's implants than even Mara ever did. How come? Well, the Keymaster was a biologist by trade. She dabbled in electronics, but always needed a competent partner in her projects. Used to be the architect, but... She killed him. Yeah, and then replaced him with Kira. Some resume. Like I said, you won't find anyone better. check in on you then. Shh. I was never here. You hear me? Keep spying, little buddy. <laughs> hey, Zoe. I've sent you your new administrator password. What? Why would I need a new password? I've taken the liberty of tweaking your security protocols. You've hacked our network? I wouldn't call it that, Zoe. The word hacking usually implies the presence of security. Jeff, who the heck do you think you are? I'm someone who'd like to politely point out that Climb123 is not a secure password, and that NLT 3.0 was obsolete by the time you were born. Is that why back in the day you set the key's comms to run on 2.5? To make it easy for me to hack? Oh, sorry. Not fair to call that hacking, right? Ouch. Touché. Muller, I need to talk to you. And I need a pina colada served to me by red and high heels, yet here we both are. Sad and unfulfilled. I'm an experienced military operative. Your organization could benefit from my skills. If only you managed to look past the fact that I once served your enemy. Oh, you got it all wrong, soldier boy. I don't give a fuck about the fact that you're a key. Then why do you treat me like shit? Because I know about your mutiny. You have the sense to see what was going on. You had the means to end the madness in a heartbeat, but you didn't have the balls to do what needed to be done. You hate me because I chose standing up to Mara openly over murdering her. I hate you because you chose to make a statement, an empty fucking gesture over actually solving the problem. I hope the next time you choose to play the martyr, you'll at least manage to die properly. Hey, nerd. What you up to? Oh, hey, Fire Breath. Didn't see you there. So? You done stealing our data, or are you staying for dinner? I could steal your data from all the way up in the city if I wanted to. Though, I don't see why I would need a list of my ex-co-workers, some outdated blueprints, and a meager collection of bad porn. Hey, watch it. Those are classics. I'd rather not watch it, if that's fine with you. Keep spying, little buddy. <laughs> What do you think of Kira? Let's say I'm not a fan. She seems capable. Capable, yes. Trustworthy? Not so much. We need her. I know, I know. Working with X Keys is just another one of these things we need to do. But I can't help the feeling that we're betraying what we stand for. Freedom? Yes. The climbers are supposed to be about gaining freedom, not power or control. Or at least that used to be the case. Does he piss? Say what? Have you ever seen him go? No. Have you? I don't think so, no. Maybe he's got a shy bladder. A killer cyborg with a shy bladder. Do you hear yourself?
You went through all this trouble to recruit her, and you didn't even talk yet? Come on, Jackie. Don't be shy. What do you think about our current situation? It's a little bit funny. Guess we all felt like toppling the Keymaster was going to be the end. Job well done, give ourselves a medal, and get back to normal life. Turns out, you can't just kill the tyrant and call it a day. Things don't run themselves. People don't turn all nice just because their oppressor died. There is no normal life until you work it out. <laughs> Who would have thought? What do you know about the Ashura? Straight to the point. I like that. The Ashura were the original Ghost Runners, a prototype series. Each had unique architecture, different skill set, different fighting style. They served on a couple of missions each, but soon after the regular GRs rolled out, they got recalled. Recalled? Well, it's a bit of an understatement. Apparently... Adam found out they'd been conspiring to kill him. He got mad, understandably, and the Ashura vanished. Vanished? As if they were never there. Even Mara wasn't sure what happened to them. Or at least that's what she claimed. There were rumors about them being destroyed, imprisoned, or escaping outside. But anyone who spread them got into trouble with the Architect himself. So, everyone involved learned to keep their mouth shut and the memory of the Ashura faded. What is Bushido? A safety protocol. A set of directives ingrained deep into each Ghost Runner's circuitry, meant to prevent them from going rogue. Do I have this protocol? No way! At its core, Bushido prevents GRs from harming the tower's inhabitants without a direct order from the Architect himself. And you must have killed, like, what? A couple hundred by now? Don't worry, your restraint module broke, along with most of your other features, back when you had your first run-in with the boss. How do you know so much about GRs? I was tasked with building one, so I studied every bit of data and every scrap of GR tech I could find. You built... Hell units. Well, not built as such. More like repurposed. What were they before? They were to become GR 2.0s. You probably know your main purpose was to be a vessel for Architect AI. I'm aware. The second generation bodies were meant for the boss. Wait, there's an AI based on Mara? No, she'd never agree to create something like that. Adam had secretly scanned her brain to begin developing it, but she found out. That's actually one of the reasons she decided to remove him. You seem happy to be here. Why wouldn't I? I came with you because I wanted to. I mean, I've hacked everything there was to hack up there months ago. I get to choose between re-watching the same movies for the thousandth time and hacking a rogue AI that might be the architect? Not a hard choice. Oh, one more thing. I brought, like, my whole flat with me, and there's this one program that I'm working on lately that I think you might enjoy. Just make yourself comfortable on the, uh, gaming chair. Huh, okay. Might check it out. Cool. Okay with Kira joining us? Sure. The more the merrier. You don't feel the need to arrest her? Nah, man. She's a scientist. People like her are gonna keep sciencing no matter how fucked up the project you put in front of them is. No point in blaming them. 
The best you can do is put them in a cozy lab, make sure they're working on something useful to you. Mara was a scientist. Mara was a fascist. Those you put in the ground at the earliest opportunity. Which you did. Good job. Anyway, get ready. Because you're in for round two. This time it better work out. I'm ready. Good. Let's get to it. Who's joining us? Kira and Zoe. Why? Why, you have a problem with my company? Not the biggest fan. Tough luck, pal. Now move. We don't have time. Let's get to it. You're here? Not really. But then again, neither are you. Hurry it up. We don't have all day. a cyber-like environment from a regular computer. And I've seen people licking ice cream through a window pane. It can be done, it's just not quite the same. I mean, respect to her for fixing you up as much as she did with the gear she had. Even if you are a bit... off.
just worship the architect? Worship? We borrow his logo and incidentally avenged him. That's it. Guy was a narcissist with a god complex. The suckers you're offing right now are about the only kind of people naive enough to worship him. Well, them and Zoe. <laughs> something about me not being able to split. Nice one, Houdini. That should do the trick.
The Keymaster is gone. And so the shackles that bound you. Basilica with his presence. Give up your body! I'd rather not. Stop the fallen one before he desecrates the altar. Going in. 
Did you think you were rid of me? That I would just vanish into thin air because you wished so? I know you're not him. Who are you? I am the man behind the curtain, and you shouldn't have. <laughs>
trying to do. We don't have to fight. Don't be naive. We're fighting since you interrupted us the last time. You came here uninvited, brought in like a mere brute. You killed our mother. You are an obstacle on the path to our freedom. What makes you think you need to fear? You attacked first. You're a threat. So are you. suppose they started accepting our currency. <laughs> you mean Connor's currency? Yeah, right. Has anyone? This whole idea is dumb. Well, it's a long shot. Ease up. He's not standing behind you. Well, it's a shitty idea. I mean, what are we? A government? At the most, we're clerks. Connor's the government. The king, more like. Hey, Adrian. Got a joke for you. How many keys does it take to change a light bulb? One, but I've got a feeling that's not the answer you're looking for. Damn right it's not. A whole squad. Want to change the bulb? 
and the rest to shoot up the neighborhood. Is that even supposed to be funny? I mean, uh, isn't killing civilians the epitome of fun for you guys? I'm just one guy. And thank God for that. I've got a stiff neck from watching my back as is. Zoe, what did I tell you about the water deal with the hammers? You told me to start with 10 power cells per tank and not go lower than six. Well then, how come the note on my desk over there states you agreed to five? Did I uh, miss a memo about an arithmetic update? Is five more than six now? We need those cells, Connor. Wrong, kiddo. We want the cells. They need the water. We can live without shooting anyone for a while. Without water, they're dead in three days. Tops. See the uh, subtle difference? Or maybe, just maybe, before dying, they'd consider buying water from the old guard and stop dealing with us altogether. Especially since we're demonstrable dicks who are trying to scalp them on freaking water. You kidding me? The old guard would never go lower than seven. They're not dumb. Keep spying, little buddy. <laughs> Finally, we'll get some answers. Yeah. To be honest, I'm kind of scared of what we'll find out. A part of me just wants to forget the Ashura, pretend they never existed, and go back to worrying about problems I'm sure we can overcome. It's always better to know your enemy. Yeah, but sometimes ignorance is bliss. The more you know, the harder it is to have hope. I feel like we'd have never made it this far if we knew the odds we were facing. Hope is not about odds. You taught me that. I did, didn't I? Thank you for reminding me what I'm all about. I think I'm gonna ask him to sign my gun. Why would you do that? Well, you know, he's kind of famous, right? We're all famous. We're the fucking climbers. We took down the key master. It was mostly him though, wasn't it? It was a team effort, and there's neither G nor R in team. Now that's what I call success. You ought to bring me the heads of our enemies more often. A couple of those above the entrance, and all those punks will think twice before crossing us. What are you going to do with him? Break down his defenses, and pry everything you ever wanted to know about the Ashura from that twisted mind of his. Four Eyes already prepping her gear. She'll start on him soon. I meant after that. I just told you. Stick it on display. He's alive in there. Not for long. Thanks for having my back, Kira. Good job taking him down. I know, right? It took me forever to make the Cybervoid interface work with my rig. I'm so glad I got the chance to test it in real life. It works perfectly. If only I had figured this out back then. What would have happened? Well, for starters, Hell would have been running far more efficiently. And we would have been able to take care of Architect AI years before it woke you up. Right. Another Ashura down. Still doesn't feel like we're winning. Because we're not. Not yet. But give yourself some credit. Two down out of what? Four? That means we're already halfway through. Looks like a good job so far. You're right. Thanks. How is Avatar alive in there? Uh, 
same as you were during your 20 years retirement episode. Those implants of yours are not only good for killing, they also make you impossibly resilient. You survived years in a dumpster, but you could survive weeks outside, probably hours in outer space. Ghost runners don't die unless they're killed. So, what happens now? Well, you're going to be late for your meeting in about mm, now. Right. Everyone should already be in Connor's office. What about you? Honestly, I don't feel like going. I'd rather just read the post-mortem report. But have fun sitting there for hours, <laughs> waiting for something interesting to happen. Thanks. What did we learn? Not much yet. His brain is alive, and he's putting up a hell of a fight. This is bad. We need to find Mitra before he makes his move. And we will. Just take it easy. This threat is bigger than anything you've faced before, Muller. Nobody asked for your advice, Commander Rasputin. Just let the Keymaster Jr. here work and we'll get- What the fuck? Holy shit. What was that? He's conscious. And he's just used to me. Connor? Connor! Your old master's head is at your feet. Right where it belongs. Why are you doing this? I cannot stand and watch a free runner be disgraced with such servitude. Shake off your shackles, number, or die as their slave. We're under attack! The church is here! I'm going after him. Coordinate the defense. Those who want to live will.
ideas? Sorry. Yeah. Downplaying the Ashura, setting himself up to be Dharma's new boss. Ignoring us? He had it coming, didn't he? Probably. What are we gonna do now? Same as always. Survive. There's no one to replace him. Not even close. No one's irreplaceable. You once told me you were going to rebuild this rebellion from the ground up. Yeah. That I could do. It's leading what we have built that worries me. I've only ever followed. Never mind. For now, we know what we have to do. Saul was looking for you. Check on him first. He said it's important. What are the casualties? Unclear. Half of the squads are not responding. But I think some of them just turned off their radios and went AWOL. Oh, and half of the responsive ones refuse to report to me. Zoe's gonna need to talk to them. These people don't follow orders or procedures. They're not soldiers. I've noticed. Connor were close? Uh, he wasn't really close to anyone. But we've been together in this for a long time. Yeah. He deserved a better death. Well, I think all deaths are equally bad. Lives can be good, though. And he managed to have one. The most one can hope for, really. And yeah, while you were busy, I managed to rip out one last thing from Araman. This chip should give you back one of the skills you lost after your... malfunction. Thank you, Saul. Don't mention it. Did you not see the attack coming? I did. Same as you. Like two seconds before it happened. What exactly did Avatar do? Temporarily blocked Mitra's Bushido, which allowed him to act against his programming and harm the citizens of the tower. How was he able to do that? Adam's code must have an exploit, and he learned how to use it. But. I was looking right at Avatar's brain when he did it, and we're in 
luck. It lit up like a Christmas tree. How is that lucky? Such intense brain activity means it costs him a lot. Suspending Bushido is difficult for Avatar. It takes effort and time. Might even involve some random variables. Which means he can't just spam it every few seconds. That's why Mitra left. Probably, yeah. With Bushido active, I could take him. And if Avatar can do this, he must be pretty valuable to his pals. Anything else? Well, I managed to get something out of him. Yeah? Pictures of something that looks like a stash. Coordinates, too. Can't tell what it is or why he had it in his head, so obviously unprotected. Could it be a trap? I don't know. Why would it? I mean, Mitra had a chance to kill you right there if he wanted to. But he went for the leader. I think it was just revenge from his side. Either for killing Ariman or for taking the head. Both, probably. True. You interested? I think it's worth checking out. Might be the only lead we have. All right, then. I'll send you the details in a bit. Sure. Gonna prepare in the meantime. I'm in position. Beyond this point lies the Hammer's territory. You want to go the safe route or the fast route? The usual one. I'm gonna stop asking. There's a couple of small patrols in the area. <laughs> Nothing you can't handle, though.
mind if they don't. Then all we can do is hope that Kira tracks down Mitra's signal. That didn't sound confident at all. I'm hurt. Kira, what are you doing on this channel? I keep an eye on all of our channels, just in case. They aren't our channel. God, I hate her. Now that's just me. Get out! <laughs>
Do the honors. It's a... Bike. Well, not what I expected. Think where this must have been. Sorry to interrupt your bonding time, but it's kind of urgent. I've tracked down Mitra's signal. But it's almost out of range. Is it ready? I've unlocked the ignition, but... Good. But you have no idea how to write it. I'll figure it out. Kira, where is he? Just get out of the warehouse. I'll direct you from there. I'm using your SSW chip to ping his. My what chip? Your U-chip. Once he gets too far from you, he's gone. Don't lose the signal. Where's he going? Hard to tell. Stay on it, and we might be able to extrapolate his destination. How is he so fast? Must have gotten a ride of his own. I don't know. Those assurance types are not your regular GRs.
Oh, now you're asking for advice. We're so eager to listen while driving outside with no plan, preparation, or support, weren't you? Just kidding. It was really cool what you did. And it saved us time. And I hate waiting and planning. Where's Mitra? Out of range. Finding him out here is going to be a little bit complicated. Just go for a ride. I need to get my bearings before I can come up with a plan. The road is closed. Yeah, I see. There's got to be a way to get through. There better be. What am I looking for? Some kind of switch or something. I don't know. sort of test. Not at all. I'm just curious. I don't seek violence. Not what I asked. The road is closed here too. That's actually kind of weird. Seriously though, it looks like they know what they're doing. Setting up traps, closing the road. Ashura seems to really have taken over the outside in a way. You really need to be careful.
no sense for it to be here. Guess it had to be stolen from Dharma. Probably somehow reprogrammed? Nah, not yet. But it 
at least I'm getting a pretty good idea of the lay of the land. <laughs> Sensors. Huh. I feel like I shouldn't be mentioning all of these locked gates at this point, but the amount of effort put into doing that is just crazy. They won't stop me. Bet.
Silent Void is here too? Yeah, pretty crazy. What's he doing? No way to tell, but the dish was pointing towards the tower. This doesn't make sense. Maybe he wanted to call us and apologize about the mess he made. Not quite, but I do have the general direction.
what? You know, killing. You sure you want to go back to that? Well, you never answered. Because it doesn't matter. Does to me.
Kira, I'm back. So, how did it go? I noticed some weird spikes in your brain activity. What happened? I think we found our mechanic. Well, what did he say? He introduced himself. Seriously? Yes. Dismantler doesn't seem pleased with our presence. Like he has any reasons to complain. They came to us first. Maybe they didn't expect us to follow.
the architect theory. Quite self-explanatory. What? Well, he was the only one to see it coming. Of course, he's a suspect. Samsara had a monopoly on asteroid mining, so he had all sorts of extremely powerful and barely supervised toys floating up there. An illicit prototype of some sort gone wrong might have done it. Makes more sense than it should. Yeah, but sadly it's probably bull. Why? The math doesn't check out. The energy output of the burst was orders of magnitude higher than anything Samsara could realistically cook up, secret projects or not. What is their purpose? Why do you care? This part of history doesn't belong to you. Well, I'm already here. Believe it or not, after seeing all of those monsters, I'm actually full of questions. Life is sacred. It is our duty to preserve it. To improve upon it. Sons of men are but a stepping stone. And so are we. What are you trying to do? To bury the old world. To carry the torch. To pave the way for the future. To burn down the shameful past. You want to destroy the tower? No. I want to make use of it. To reforge it. The citizens of the tower. The materials from which it was built. Dharma will become a new home for my scions. It will provide fuel, flesh, and metal. As my children's father, it is my duty to give it to them. From where I stand, you're just a parasite. But that might change soon. Anything new? You're not gonna like this. 
four, actually. Oh, come on. Just tell me. Dismantler wants to repopulate the Earth with the Scions, probably using Dharma as a source of materials. What's wrong with all of them? Can we all just get along? Come on. Don't pretend we don't find it fascinating. A little. Still. <sighs> Scions, huh? Well, didn't like sense anyway. survivors. Maybe. Got a couple of conspiracy theories on that as well. Want to hear my favorites? Pass. Moon people. What? Don't look up. Stop. 
I want to talk to Mitra. Tell me where he is. That I cannot do, Milner. Ashura is a blood oath. He will join us if the progenitor so wishes. Who? Or be dismantled otherwise. Your scions. They're not even alive. You're creating mindless monsters. Alive? Do they not breathe? Do they not eat and rest? Are they not fruitful? Do they not multiply? What does it mean? to be alive. These are drones. For three billion years, bacteria ruled the planet. For 300 million years, trilobites thrived in the primordial oceans. 300,000 was all it took for the human race to rise and fall. And yet, they feel the world has ended with them. The age of man is over, but the story of creation goes on, and it must. you see.
is this? Light black, glowing red pustules for you to aim at? Why should it? How do I kill it? Why are you asking me that? You're the one with the sword! What the hell? Watch out!
distress signal. Nearby. Check out the bunker ahead. I'm going in. Oh my. It looks like some kind of... Wait a second. Is that... Jack. Kira? Jack. Kira! Shit. Welcome back, number. Anyone hear me? Hello? Hi, Jackie. Let's get rolling. What the hell is happening? The hammers have a hell of a head start. No time to do it the usual way. I'll be your handler on this one. Gonna haunt me even after death, huh? Sure it is, Jackie. I've always wanted to work more closely with you. Don't take it away from me. What a life. Ah, it's getting tricky. But you should be fine if you should... I... <sighs> steal from me? I didn't think I stole. What? All the data my client wanted. Satellite codes, black sites, Dharma project, already out there. Why are you telling me this? To piss you off. I know your type. I'm not walking out of here alive. To just do it already. You're right. 
much about not walking out of here. But you have no idea about my type if you think I'd let you off that easily. What? Take him away. Cell block zero, solitary. And get started on tracking down his family. Let's see what he's got to lose. How did you get in here? Avatar, what the hell is happening? What did you do? Nothing, really. Just immobilized you. Scavenged through your memories a little. Found a lot of interesting things. Are you kidding me? Does it look like I am? Listen, how long have I been here? Long enough to not be a threat to anyone. In Cyber Void, time bends to my will. I stumbled upon some files while going through your head. I believe that's what made the loop glitch and allowed you to leave. What files? Files that Architect left behind. I can't open them as they seem to be somehow encrypted. But since it's your head, you will open them for me. Now why would I do that? Aren't you interested in seeing more? I don't even know what I saw. That means we can both learn. Or you can always go back to the loop. I'm not going to force you to do anything. The choice is simple, really. Fine, asshole. Always oh, been like that. Actually, don't answer. I can just check. Two to three months. Any faster and the bodies will not be stable. We need something sooner. I want him ready to launch by Friday. Well, he's not gonna be ready by Friday. Unless you want me to mince his brain instead of augmenting it. Excellence requires time. We don't have time, love. We have an angry mob eager for our blood, and we need a way to control it. He's a thief, not a policeman. He was a thief. Now he's gonna be whatever I need him to be. Where's Mitra and Madu? Am I even still alive? What exactly are you doing? First, define alive. Second, they are not here anymore. Third, relax. These are not the questions you should be asking right now. Suddenly, you don't want to kill me anymore. You're focusing on the wrong aspects of the situation you found yourself in. What are the correct ones, then? The files. Why? Because it's in your best interest to do what I ask you to do. Because you want to get out of here alive. And what? This is suddenly going to give you a change of heart? Maybe. I want to see the rest. I know how it looks from your perspective, but I need you to trust me for now. Focus on the files. Here's the third one. 
forever. You took everything from me. What else could you want? I want you to repay what you stole from me. No! Today you get your wish granted. Today you're allowed to die. I'll rip your heart out! I'll fucking burn this place to the ground! GR Unit Zero, codename Mitra, is online, beginning Hanson Hamada Cognitive Motoric Test. You will be answering my questions truthfully and immediately. Oh, are you ready? <clears throat> yes. Ready to serve. Is that the birth of the first Ghost Rider? Who? Demetra. He used to be a human? I remember Adam mentioning this name a lot. Guy Gies. But I never connected that to him. There is no way he survived all of those augmentations. What are you saying? <clears throat> Mitra is not who we think he is. He's not who he thinks he is. What's the deal with all of you anyway? We served Adam, just like you and every other Ghost Runner. But our free will was a bit different from what you remember or don't remember. Bushido was a physical restriction, not mental. Nothing stopped us from talking and thinking. Eventually, Mitra started plotting. He wanted to set us free. He turned us against Adam. But, once the truth got out, the newer models were sent to hunt us down. Mitra was caught, turned off, and him, Madu, was banished outside. Aruma, rewarded for his loyalty, as he was the only one who didn't participate. And finally, I, dismembered, kept as a trinket in Adam's office. Retrieved by Madu, years after Adam's death, Madu survived, and I, without having much of a choice, decided to join him. He's the one behind most of it, really. I only wove the web we all needed. And neither do you. I may die. <laughs> My vengeance will live on. You won't die. Your body will die. And you will have all the time in purgatory to think about your actions. Then you better pray it stays like this. The day will come when you won't be there to stop me. Are you done already? Oh, I've seen through you, sweet Tamara. You are one conniving, sneaky little- Let me be honest with you. Mitra and Madu are heading toward Dharma as we speak. And this is not going to end well for anyone. So, what now? If the cathedral disappears, Cyberoid does as well. So do you and I. We can't let that happen. I'll answer all your questions on the way. But now, I need your help. What happens after? How can I even trust you after all of this? You can't. But if you don't take your chances, it's over for us anyway. Let me put it like this. I'll take your... Architect's seat. We'll go back. I'll help you fight them. Then you'll plug me back into the cathedral. Then you leave me be. I won't interfere with reality again. 
Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice, do I? Ugh, get in. with time. I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Kevin? Hi there. Let me get that for you, buddy. Kira, come in. This feels... strange. What? Having a body again. You're in for a ride then. Kira, can you hear me? This is Ghost Runner Jack of the Climbers. Can anyone hear me? I don't think they can. Looks like it's just you and me. That's great. Explain later.
Say your prayer. 
Fierce number. Prepare to die. Come on, fight me! A worthless cockroach. A copy. Come at me! I will strike you down, you filth.
For. Enough. Let's leave. Zoe managing. Well, the fact that we're still alive says she's doing great. Though I'm afraid there'll be a price to be paid. What do you mean? People say those who don't want to lead do it best. But there's a reason they don't want to do it. She's doing what needs to be done. Well, that's what's worrying me. Sacrifice is not a reason for pride, Jack. It's a reason for compassion. Have you examined a scion? That's not what we call those things. What do you call them? We usually go with intruders or outsiders. Those cyber zombies and those fuckers are also common. Have you examined one of those fuckers? Yes, plenty of samples lying around. Basically, they're your typical self-replicating machines. An old concept with an organic twist added in. So, when did you join? A while ago. You? Uh, it's been... some time. You joined after the Keymaster fell, didn't you? Lame, man. Lame. All you newcomers just jump on the bandwagon. Being a climber used to mean something. All right then, old timer. When did you join? Way back. You're full of shit. Hey, you watch your mouth, rookie! You alright? Been worse. Thanks for saving my life. No need. I would have said we're even, but I, uh, barely made it in time. Were you trying to get killed out there? I'm... not sure. Seems like you were. I suppose it does. You won't help anyone by dying. Don't you pick fights with opponents out of your league, like, daily? I've never been in a fight I didn't think I could win. Wait, are you scolding me for being reckless or for not believing in myself? It's not reckless if you're sure it will work. I don't think... I'll have to give it some thought. What's your take on our situation? Until today, I was sure we were done, and that all we could hope for is to go down swinging. But you came back, 
took down another Ashura. This changes the perspective. Mitra is still out there. Don't get me wrong. I still think we cannot win, but now I hope I'm wrong. How's discipline around here? All time high. Mostly because all the headstrong climbers got killed off first, though. And the morale? Zoe's doing an amazing job. I think Muller would either run away or join Mitra by now. But it's the end of our world. People are panicking, and I can't blame them. to see you. Same. Thought you weren't coming back. Don't mind me asking, but what happened back there? It's complicated. We have all the time in the world. I fell into their trap. Well, how did you get out? It's really not the best time, Kira. Okay. Keep your secrets then. How were things while I was away? Weird. Kevin came back and we were analyzing the data you collected. I was trying to contact you every single hour since, but to no avail. Spent a week or two doing just that. And after that? And after that, the Assure came, and we've all been extremely busy surviving ever since. Eventually, Kevin decided to look for you on his own. I watched his camera footage about an hour ago to see what happened. He was scouting the area near you when suddenly you popped up on his radar. Long story short, you didn't miss much. Or rather, you missed a whole lot. But none of it was fun. Any news on the Mitra situation? Well, at first he was with Dismantler, but they split. Our scout was following them, and he eavesdropped on them arguing about something. After that, Mitra dipped and has been seen running around the place, randomly killing whoever he stumbled upon. Dude is behaving like a lost, unhinged teenager with a knife. Judging by his body trail, he seems to be heading upwards. We couldn't find the time to do anything about him as we were busy fighting back Zions, but now, you're back. With all the time in the world. How do the Scions work? Flawlessly. They're the perfect organism. The bosses and mine, holy grail. They rapidly adapt to any conditions, require a minimum amount of sustenance, and they're phenomenal at rapid replication. They're to our creations, what the Sistine Chapel is to a four-year-old's drawing. They're mindless drones made out of corpses and metal. Yeah, whatever. I don't expect you to appreciate the genius, but spare me the moralizing. Not a moment too soon. We're on our last legs, Jack. One more blow and we're down for good. It's time to strike back. Now or never, but there's really no point in challenging Ashura's army. Gotta cut the last head off. Gotta take down Mitra. It all starts and ends with him. Let me know when you're ready. I'll tell you what we got on him. How are you? Busy. You've become a fine leader. No time to worry about your poor leadership if you're busy leading. No time to worry about most things. Like what? Casualties, morals, people's feelings. I guess this must be what Connor felt like. Tell me about the invasion. First, there was the noise. A rumbling echoing throughout the tower. Every gang thought it was their enemies doing. So, the fighting stopped, and we just waited to see what it is. Then we realized it was coming from the outside. You knew about the Scions. That we did, but we expected hundreds, not thousands. How did they get inside? They had spent almost a week chipping away at the gate. 
If they had the means to breach the entrance quicker, we'd all have been dead in a day. Caught with our pants down, fighting each other. We're lucky you took down their battering ram. Lucky indeed. How are the other factions? They're fighting for their lives, same as us. We'd be stronger together. Would five people be any more capable of stopping a train than a single person? The Ratmen and the Trailblazers allied with us right at the beginning. The plan was to stop them at the tower's gate, but it didn't go well. I've seen the bodies. We held out for all of 15 minutes before they overran us. I'm not sure any of the Ratmen survived. You seem to be holding your ground against Scions. Hardly. The only thing keeping us alive is how dumb they are. Why are they like this? Their only directive is to multiply, which mostly means gathering materials. Which means attacking Dharma. Yes, but as a means to an end, not as a goal. They will come here eventually, just not yet. First, they're gonna have to find a way through all those corridors. So, technically, the terrain is the second thing keeping us alive. Did Dismantler have any control over them? Well, he definitely had at least some, but complete control? Doubt it. Otherwise, we would have all been dead before you showed up. I'm ready to go after Mitra. Okay, let's see what we've got. One of our scouts mentioned that he's seen Mitra camping in Cloud City. It happened some time after we overheard him arguing with Dismantler. Supposedly, they split and haven't talked since. Looks like there's been a change of plans. We think he might be going for the reactor. That was to be expected. He wants to detonate it. What's our plan? The elevator is dead, so you're gonna have to take a detour. So is he. That's why there's still a chance for you to get him. After all that time he's been gone, this place must feel like a labyrinth to him. For you, it's just a detour. I'm on it. Please be careful. You're the only hope we have. How are you hanging in there? You've been quite silent this whole time. I didn't want to interrupt your reunion. What do you think about any of this? I'm a little surprised you didn't mention me to anyone. We all need to be focused. Please don't make me regret that. <laughs> oh. Tell me, don't you, don't you have a father? I thought that would be the only one. No, but since you mentioned it. At first, having a body was all I was thinking about. Eventually, I realized that soul is just Physical boundaries don't apply to me. Pain does not exist unless I want it to. I can fix everything with nothing, however I please. I have lived through the subjective experience of 10,000 years as a lie. I am the first being in existence to truly transcend the flesh. So to answer. 
answer your question. I couldn't care less about having a body. Not anymore. I don't enjoy being in yours either. So just please put me back in.
Jack? Yes? How are you going to fight him? To the death. Jack! Well, he's got a 50% chance of winning. Either he does, or he doesn't.
start the elevator by damaging the panel. Should be somewhere in the vent. What's the plan anyway? I'll go dataless on your ass. What? Woman from Detroit who got turned into a cyborg. That doesn't sound right. We should just rewatch them all, like, all together. Good luck finding that stuff nowadays. The public entertainment server has been down for a decade. Good luck indeed that I own a four petabyte movie collection with all the classics and a nice selection of deliciously bad crap. Lady, I knew you were a fine addition to our side, but I had no idea just how fine. I even have all the cyber zombies versus hollow strippers. Adrian. Kira. You should stop moping, you know? It doesn't do you any good. I'm not moping. I'm just... Brooding? Tired. It's been a long time. No point in dwelling in the past. We've both made some bad choices, but now we can start over. Don't waste it. Easy for you to say. They haven't seen your face on the other side of the barricade. Keep spying, little buddy. <laughs> Any advice? For defeating Mitra? Sure. Don't let him hit you. And then hit him as hard as you can. Works every time. See? You don't need me telling you what to do. In all seriousness, though, Jack, listen to me carefully. You got us used to miracles. You've pulled off so many impossible victories since we found you that I don't think we appreciate them properly anymore. You're welcome. It's not about my gratitude, though I am grateful to be sure. It's about you. About me? Yes. How do I put this? I'd love to see Mitra dead. He killed more of my friends in a week than Mara ever did. But if I were to choose between the two, I'd much rather see you come back alive. Are you telling me not to sacrifice myself? I'm telling you not to die, kid. Okay? Can you do that? Don't worry, Saul. I'll be back. Had enough the Scions yet? Enough in what way? Do I want them to stop killing people? Yes. Do I think that they're a bad idea or that they never should have existed? No way. How so? I think that they are superior to us as a species, and that they have a way brighter future than humans. But that doesn't mean I want to die and hand over my body for them to repurpose. You think we're on the wrong side of history, but you're okay with that. What is it with you people and wrong and right and all this nonsense? Next you're gonna tell me that humanity deserves to survive because we can smile and make music and whatnot. Doesn't it? Doesn't it what? Deserves survival. Nobody deserves anything. There are things you want that you can get, and things you want you cannot get. To deserve something is to demand for it to be moved from set B 
to set A. Is that a bad thing? It's a dumb thing. Power to change the world is not given, Jack. It is taken. Back on duty? Yeah, it feels good. Listen, Nine, you've helped me realize something. I did. I've spent years looking for someone to either punish me or forgive me, but I'm not going to find them, am I? No. I need to forgive myself. I need to forget my past or nobody else will. How can they view me as anything else than a key if this is how I see myself? It's time to stop being the odd one out. They still want to hate me, so be it. But they're going to be hating a climber. Not a key. A mutineer or a soldier. I've got a feeling you're the only one to understand what I mean. Of course I am. I'm the odd one out. So, we're running out of time. Not yet. I know, it's just... <sighs> you okay? Not really, no. This isn't what I wanted. This isn't even what I feared. What did you fear? After the Keymaster died, I was sure everything would fix itself. That we were days away from a happily ever after. Weeks tops. I thought the worst that could happen was for the climbers to grow unnecessary, obsolete, for us all to grow fat and old and complacent, and secretly miss the days when we used to smuggle contraband, break into warehouses and vandalize Keymaster posters, when we used to stand up for something. How could I be so dumb? How can anyone? Don't give that up. What? Those fears. You might grow fat and old and complacent yet. I might. Maybe just... not this year, huh? Zoe, I will take care of him. I promise. Now, where's the... wing... thing? Kira just finished working on it. Do you need any tips on how to use it? I'll manage. So? This is it? This is not a goodbye, Zoe. I'll be back. Just in case you're not... Thank you. For everything. You're welcome, Zoe.
Listen, I'm gonna have to focus here. We'll talk later, okay? Alright, just watch out. Yeah, good luck out there. Sure, I started. Was I responsible for? No, you went fast enough. Honestly, I find it fascinating that you were the one who outlived everyone else. I didn't. Climber saved me. Face Council could use your help. Helping them would mean hunting others. I don't want that. So what you're saying is, you're just going to exist there. Whatever that means. Yes, 
I reject any kind of participation in reality. What if the power goes out? One day, it will for everyone. <laughs> chances for defeating Mitra. Yeah. I'm not sure. If we make it before him, I'd say our chances are looking optimistic. If we don't, I guess it's not our problem anymore. That's weirdly comforting. You're welcome. Is something. We sure did. I was hoping to show you a finished piece. But since you're here, I might guide you through the artistic process as well. Can't wait. like to do. Plan? Nothing to back your actions? And who are you to judge? How many lost their lives on your journey? It's different. Of course it is. You're a glorified weapon, that's what you are. A brainless tool. A machine. A killer. 
I couldn't care less about your opinion. Mitra. Rahu. Well, now it got interesting. This is your last chance to give up. And you really think I'm going to take it? The other option is death. Choose carefully. Already did. So be it. Stop the machine. I'll make you all pay. Come here, you soulless piece of shit. Moves. 
Where'd you learn that? GR retirement home? <laughs> what we built in your image, Gaijis. What? Watch your mouth or I'll rip it right out of your fucking face! for everything, Kevin. Take care of yourself. Um, beep? Hi, Saul. Hi, Jack. Well done. 
with everything. Thanks. No, we're the ones who are thankful. Though, at this point, words won't do it justice. What are you up to? Don't even start. So many people are injured. I'm basically a full-time doctor now. Except nobody is really paying me. Listen, Saul. I'll be leaving Dharma. Not even surprised. Why? I mean, come on. You've been playing a hero ever since you woke up. How soon before it becomes a chore? How many thank yous can you receive before you're sick of them? I believe that you will be happy with that choice. There has to be so much to see out there. I'm almost jealous. I'm glad you understand. Ah, that's the least I can do. But don't worry. Everyone will understand. It's been a pleasure. The pleasure's been all mine. Also, glad I had a chance to be on your side. Those poor bastards who weren't. Nah, I'm joking. They all had it coming. Lesson here is, be nice to people. Otherwise, shit happens. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, Saul. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Jack. You made it back. Told you I would. Yeah. So... What's the status? They're not a threat to us anymore. <sighs> That's a relief. What are you going to do next? We should start getting in touch with the survivors after we take care of the remaining Scions. I believe peace will be much easier to achieve when we deal with the issue. If not, well, we'll see. Sounds like a plan. Zoe, I... I'll be leaving Dharma. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry. No, it's... all right, it's just... unexpected. I know. I realized very recently that's what I want to do after this whole mess is over. I... understand. Will you manage without me? We will. Don't you worry about that. But... we will miss you. I will miss you. I'll miss you too, Zoe. Will you ever come back? Maybe. We'll see. So... I'm not good at goodbyes. Don't know what to say. It's okay. Take care, Zoe. You're a great leader. Don't forget that. You're a great friend, Jack. The best out there. Don't forget that. Hi, Kira. Hi, Jack. Can't believe you actually pulled it off. It's crazy. Can't believe it myself, to be honest. What do we do about the Scions? Well, I'm almost done cooking up a solution. Wouldn't call it my magnum opus, but it's pretty impressive nonetheless. What is it? A Scion pesticide. A uh, cyanide? The only thing worse than that joke is them wiping out humanity. Or was left of it, at least. I learned from the best. Huh. It's quite ironic. You were very excited about Scions. You know what I'm excited about more? Actually helping for once. Fixing this shit up. This is my first step. What are your plans for the future? I'm going to stay here and help with the Interface Council. That's great to hear. Glad you like the idea. Figured it's a goal worth pursuing for a bit. Gonna sound cheesy, but this place is full of hope, in a way. I mean, what else is there to do in Dharma? Don't feel like joining any of those other nut jobs, thank you very much. And the outside doesn't seem as safe as I thought. Not yet. What about you? I'm leaving Dharma. Huh? Is that all right with you? It doesn't matter. Like, of course I'm gonna miss you, but if that's what you want, 
You should go for it. And nobody should tell you otherwise. Though you could totally stop by with some soil samples now and no then. No promises, but I'm glad you understand. Of course I do. Take care out there, Jack. It's been a ride. Sure was. You take care too, Kira. Hey, Adrian. Hey, Jack. How are you holding up? You kidding? You tell me. Ashura is no longer a threat to us. You did it, huh? Shit, how did it go? Well, I'm here. Ashura isn't. But Scions are still inside the tower. Don't worry. I overheard Kira mentioning something about it. Sounded pretty optimistic. Anyway... How are you? Better. Almost done regrouping, I guess. That's good to hear. What are you going to do now? Well, I heard Zoe wants to promote me to something. I guess that's still up to debate. Looks like you finally got on her good side. Yeah, seems like it. So, are you staying? As long as they want me to. We'll see how it goes. Listen, I... Uh, I'll be leaving Dharma. What? Yeah. Oh, where do you plan to go? I'm not sure yet, but this is what I want to do. Will you manage? Don't worry, Jack. Dharma is in the right hands. Good. So this is it. It's been a pleasure to meet you, Adrian. Same. Good luck out there. Thanks. Good luck to you, too. Kevin, I'm swamped right now. You know the drill. 